What's up guys, Yes McGann here, and today we are playing Nemesis, actually, in the Soul Lane. I got it that I've tried a few times out on stream in the Soul Lane, I've actually enjoyed quite a bit. And, well, I mean, recent, or not, it wasn't really recently, but her last, I guess, big change changed her uh, two to do a bit more damage, as well as her, I believe, her one as well. So, it does allow her to clear a bit more effectively from what I've uh, played of her, and... I believe? I don't even know what we're against here. It's a Fenrir most likely. It could be the Morgan as well. It's such a weird composition they have. I think I'll just go beads here. I mean, might as well, right? If I'm against a Fenrir, it's always a safer option. But we're going to go for the blue stone here. And we actually have a chalk jungle since I guess since he assumed I, I was going an assassin this whole and he assumed that uh, the jungle was the place for the warrior this game, which I mean, jungle warriors aren't too bad. So not going to be too worried about that. So we're going to, like I said, we're against either a Fenwir or a Bakasura or a, no, it's probably Bakasura ADC, but honestly, anything could happen at this point. Who, who knows? Uh, who knows really? But let's see, is Bakasura around here? I don't see a Baka. He could obviously come in late. Okay, it's Raijin and the Morrigan in mid, so that's the jungler. So I'm probably against Fenrir here, unless it's Fenrir ADC. No, it's Fenrir in the soul lane. Okay, it's what I was expecting, but this matchup shouldn't be too bad for us. Our three does allow us to actually do pretty decently against his... His... Well, his three, obviously, the Brutalize, so... We'll see if we can actually take advantage of that. Did he go for the Death Toll this game? So he went for the stun on us. Not going to get it, though. No, I actually want Mark the Vanguard. I'm actually surprised. I usually see... Actually, I don't usually. But I, I tend to enjoy going for the... The Death Toll against... Or as Fenrir. As you actually get a lot of sustain with your two and everything. And oh, she, went, she went for the stun instead of the wave once again. And we'll just go for the clear here. I have to be careful because I don't- I didn't get the shield, I went for the... The damage on the- Oh! Hold on, hold on! Okay, he, he messed his abilities right there pretty badly, but I went for the... One instead, so his Brutalize can do a decent amount of damage to me and- we, Oh, we know where their jungler is. I didn't hit him whenever I tried to go for the, uh, the two, unfortunately. Uh, looks like we're gonna lose our team in the- other side of the map, but we did end up winning the jungle mid, so it's not too bad, obviously. Silence. Not gonna brutalize me. I, mean, I just want to go into their jungle here. I'll probably try doing it after this wave. The Morgan is in the middle lane. Actually, is that Morgan? Oh, actually, I can't even tell which one's the jungle. I mean, both of them can play jungle. Oh, the shell! Gonna keep him alive. That is really unfortunate. Man, almost got him. Almost got him, but... Shell. Coming out just in time for the Fenrir. I actually let him them duel that. I, I don't want to end up taking any extra XP away from them. And we'll clear out the mana buff here. Not bad, not bad. And I'll go back to base here. Pick up tier 2 into my boots. And we'll get rolling. It's really unfortunate I didn't get that Fenrir, though, because if I would have gotten the kill on Fenrir in this matchup, it was over for Fenrir. There was no chance he, he had in beating me in this lane since, I mean, my three completely canceled his, uh, or my three cancels his three pretty much. It gives me health back whenever he goes for the Brutalize, as well as, well, my pass is fantastic. My ultimate's going to be really good against Fenrir in the soul lane, being that he's probably going to go a bit tankier, as well as, if he ults, I do have the beads. I, I, I thought ahead. You know, I didn't want to, didn't want to end up killing myself because I didn't have a relic. He's gonna hit level five here, though. We're gonna hit level five as well. And I think I'm just gonna put a ward right here. And oh no, Chalk going to go down to the Bakasura in a fight that looked incredibly close there. Oh my gosh, can I get him? That nah, doesn't look like it. Almost got him. I missed the basic attack. I don't think I would have killed him. Even if I hit that basic attack now, though, if I think about it. But I do have the shield here, as well as the beads. And I am hungry for a doggy. But I don't think I can actually dive this Fenrir. He's just sustaining way too much with his 
health chalice, so... Oh, he didn't die! Oh, I thought he was gonna die to the blue stone as well as the minion damage. That's really unfortunate. We can go to these fire elementals though, which is pretty nice. Take these out really quickly. Enemy ultimate down. Okay. There we go, and Chalk's gonna be able to pick that one up. Fenrir getting a bit too excited there. Thought he could get the kill on me, obviously, with me being pretty low there and really at a disadvantage, but. Chalk coming in just at the nick of time. The rotation and the gank working out perfectly, and we're gonna go back to base. Finally. With a kill to our name, or I guess an assist, but you know, we, we did most of it. I'll say we did most of it. So, <laughs> getting the Fen right here is going to be very nice for us. And actually, you know what? I can go for these back harpies before I go to the lane. So, I think I'm going to do that for a little bit of extra GPM. There we go. Clear out the back harpies. I'm going to say enemies missing left just in case Fenrir ganks because Chalk is really going deep right now. And Fenrir could easily rotate mid. We'll have to see. I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, no. Fenrir's over here. Ah, smart decision. Waited for my three to go off before he went for the Brutalize. I thought he was going to use his Brutalize whenever he uh, basic attacked. I thought he was going to cancel into it, but fortunately he did not. So, kind of going to get a bit outplayed there, I'd say. All right, have our passive stacks going. Okay, we're gonna clear that out and go to the mana buff here. It looks like Chalk just had a speed buff clearing that out, so we can easily go to this mana buff and then maybe hit up the fire elementals if he'd like right after. Or we can gank Fenrir. His ultimate is available though, so it does make things a bit more challenging. It looks like he wants to hit up the fire elementals. There he goes, picks those up. Detecting tools is easy. Gonna get a ward here. Enemy missing. I'm pretty sure he's at his mana buff here, but I'm just gonna say enemies missing just in case. Because people can do some crazy things. You never know. I don't want I don't want him to my team to be surprised by a Fenrir coming mid. I even though I think they probably would be still surprised, even if I even with me saying enemies missing, but I'm gonna go back to base here and I'm actually going to Max out the... Actually, hold on. I don't have the Morgans over here. I actually could have made it back to base. That's unfortunate. But we're going to go back to base here. Finally. Actually, I'm so close to that Gladiator Shield. You know what? I'm going to stay around a bit longer. I'll say enemy missing. There's no way they can make it over there in time, but... Just in case. Just in case. But I'm going to clear out this wave and then go back to base. Make sure I can get my Gladiator Shield. There's the Morgan. Showing up a bit late. And I'll go back to base here. Okay, my, my global emote didn't go off. But we're going to go get our Gladiator Shield online, which... From my experience playing her in the solo lane, Gladiator Shield seems to be pretty good on her. I mean, you do get the Reflect, or the... Not the Reflect, but the uh, passive from it pretty easily. So, I, I like it, as well as it gives you some okay power, as well as some okay protections early on. For a really cheap price, though, and some cooldown reduction, which... Cooldown reduction on this goddess is always great because of your abilities hit really hard as well as your ultimate. It's easily one of the biggest sells for this goddess and it's easily one of the reasons why she's picked up actually quite frequently in the jungle specifically, but it still works out the same way in the soul lane. I guess you don't get as many off as early on in the game, being that you're soloing and you're not going for team fights, but... I'll get these fire elementals, go back to my lane, push it in a little bit. Maybe rotate to the middle lane right after. Oh my gosh, Chalk is going so deep right here. I don't know. Uh, can he get out here? He's pretty high HP. And actually, yep, they did get the kill. Nice. I should have just used my three earlier instead of trying to go for the... 
the attack cancel. Oh, he actually got me right there. I'm going to use the beads, unfortunately, but that is his ultimate down. And with his ultimate down, that means I may be able to get a kill. He is very mobile, of course. Enemy ultimate down. Okay, there's the kill. He didn't even go for the brutalize. <laughs> he knew he couldn't escape that. I, I mean, it would have been worth the attempt, though, because, I mean... He, Brutalize is going to be up by the time he spawns. It's not like he's using his ultimate, but hey. I guess he really thought he couldn't get the kill, so he just kind of sacrificed himself. Just basic attacked me until he died. But uh, actually, ooh, Chalk, nice. Got the kill on Raijin. He does have a Kuma behind him, and I do not have my ultimate. And actually, that could be trouble for Thoth here. Oh my god, I couldn't get him with the last basic. Dang. I thought we could kill him. I guess he is. I hate seeing Katana. Oh, and Geb couldn't get him. Uh, that's that's pretty rough. I don't think Hachiman can chase this down either. Doesn't have, even have his ultimate, so looks like Baka is going to keep going in this game. The thing with this though is that it's Baka Sura, so it, it's not like it's their Morgan or anything like that, which is lucky for us. Morgan's really far behind, but Baka Sura, he can't. He does fall off a bit later on, so we do have that going for us, but. I mean, it's still going to be tough to deal with for now, definitely. We're going to have to see what we what we want to build here. I'm going to go for the Stone Cutting Sword. I'll probably go for a Wing Blade as well later on, just because Bakasura. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Bakasura pretty much. That's it. And I could also go for the Magic's Blessing this game, which in this composition, or against this composition, I actually think would be pretty good. Because, I mean, what are we trying to avoid here? Kumba, Fenrir, and Morrigan. And... Yeah, it's not something they can really get off of us super easily. I guess a Mez could be really annoying uh, for getting it off. But, I mean, his Mez is still really short range. It's all around him, so we may actually still be able to... ...win this overall. Going for a Magi's Blessing. Oh, man. If he didn't have his ultimate, I easily would have ulted right there. And there it is. We're going to be able to get him. I knew to back up whenever he, I, I, I ulted because he was going to have his ultimate available and he could grab me immediately and I didn't want to have to use the beads, but ultimate we were able to do that successfully and get him without even getting grabbed by the Fenrir. And we may actually be able to get this tower. They don't have anyone coming over here, I don't think. The Morgan may rotate over. Actually, yep, there she is. Oh, oh I didn't kill her! Both has it, both has it! We still couldn't get it? Okay, Chalk has it. No? No one has it? Oh my gosh, I can't believe Thoth missed! Okay, Chalk got it, okay. Oh, they ended up getting it. Okay, we just gotta get this tower right here. Go back to base. Actually, I'm really close to my stone cutting sword. I actually will stay around a bit longer and go to, go to the buffs here so I can pick that item up because that is a really big power spike. So we'll pick up the mana buff here. There we go. And I'm going to rotate back to this lane, make sure we can get this wave and hit 1300 gold for that stone cutting sword. There we go. Pick up the stone cutting sword. Oh man, man. Bacchus is just diving this Hachi man so much. He's just getting absolutely decimated by this god. But the question is, should I go for the sprint here or should I go Aegis? I think I will just get the sprint. Either one I think would be pretty good here, but it looks like they are going to take the Bacchus down finally. And I do have the... Actually, Fenrir is going to be over there. But I do actually have an ultimate that can really mess with Bacchus because I'm looking at their team, I could really use it on potentially anyone. Obviously, Kumba, I'm going to get the most use out of him being the support guardian. But Bakasura, if he's ahead, it is still going to slow him down drastically as well as allow us to 
do a bit more damage to him, so that could be pretty good. We'll have to see, though, in these fights. And the question is, where are they? I, I guess I just have the speed buff here. I hear Fenrir. I hear... There's Raijin. Maybe I didn't hear Fenrir. Okay, yeah, I did. I thought I thought I did, but I wasn't quite sure. It's not like he uses Brutalize. Maybe at the speed buff, which I think is what happened there. I could actually try and steal this mana buff away. We'll have to see. I stole it away with a basic attack during his Brutalize. Oh, poor guy. Oh man, he is getting bullied so heavily right now. The Morgan's all the way over there, so I think I'm a bit safe right now. There's the kill. There it is! Getting an easy kill on the Fenrir right here, and they're saying a Tactical Fury here. I think they actually could get this. They did get a bunch of kills right there. Baka is still around, but... Oops. I didn't, uh, I meant to use my one again, but I kept basic attacking. So we're gonna go for the tower here if they go for the gold fury. Try and get a bit more pressure on our side of the map. If we go down here, it's gonna be kind of sad, honestly, but we could actually... Oh, actually, yeah, Brockasaur is still over there. Yeah, we're gonna force someone over here. That's for sure. We got the gold fury. Okay, for a second, I thought Baka might have stolen it. Okay, it's just Kumba. I'm actually gonna have to use the beads here so I don't get ulted, though, unfortunately. Okay, so we did actually get the Bakasura as well as the Gold Fury there. Didn't get the tower, but it did force Kumba over here, which is really good. And that's going to be a really strong play for us. Allow us to get back into this game. And actually, you know what? I'm doing so well. I might actually go for the in-hand build on Nemesis. No, I actually... No, I need to be more of a frontliner, probably. I'll go for the wing blade. I'll go for the wing blade first. I'll, I'll be a bit safer. Okay, I'll be a bit safer. I was thinking maybe Haste and Katana, you know, I could go for that. Which, uh, but something that'll, you know, Fatalis wasn't really considered a strong item on Nemesis, but I've seen a lot of European junglers especially going for uh, Haste and Katana, really damage-oriented build on Nemesis, and it's been working out really well, especially on junglers in the SPL such as Cubo Fred. I've been having a lot of success with that, so. I was thinking potentially that could be pretty good. But we are in the soul lane. I'm actually just trying to force an ultimate out of this guy. Well, he didn't even try and run. I think he may have, uh, <laughs> may have given up a little bit right here. Because uh, at least he was trying to, you know, put up a fight earlier on in this game, but not even trying to do that. But I'm so used to playing Warriors that whenever I play an Assassin, I always love to take advantage of having the extra damage, especially if I'm going for more of a damage-oriented build. Because I can actually just go for more of a split push, which as a war whenever you play warriors, it's not nearly as easy to do with the lower power. And actually, over there, right over the wall. Yeah, but with the lower power and pen, it's not nearly as easy to do. So, with the opportunity here, I'm definitely, I definitely would like to take it. Oh no, he's gonna get over the wall because of Kumba. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Gonna be able to all just in time. Just in time. But hey, we'll take out the mana buff at least. Not gonna get another kill though. Okay. <laughs> it seems like uh, this side of the map has lost its uh, punch. So I think we're gonna uh, just look to rotate now after, uh, after that. That was... Uh, that was interesting. Fenrir's just getting tanky, so he was just standing there, kind of just like, Hit me, please. I don't want to be in this anymore. I don't want to be in this nightmare. But I imagine since Bakasura did so well early, they want to keep their... Keep themselves in this game. And is he stacking? No, he's not. So I can just clear that out. Doesn't have the Book of Thoth yet. He's actually going for it pretty late. I see a lot of Thoths just rushing that item, which I think is a really smart thing to do. Got ulted. I have to be careful because of Baka here. Ah, uh, Thoth's actually going to go down. Actually, Geb could be into trouble as well. I might actually be able to save him. Oh, no. He's going to get beads. Or 
Not beads, but he's gonna be outrun. Uh, Chalk has to be really careful as well. I do have the ultimate available here. There's the kill! Oh, he missed me and I still use beads! And there's the Kumba kill! Oh, nice mess, nice mess. I think Hachiman's probably dead here. Okay, well, we do have Chalk coming over here and his ultimate's down. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> not gonna be able to get that one. Uh, not gonna be able to slow him either before he can get his dash off or his teleport. But we should be able to actually hold on. Let's go for the portal demon really quick. We could we could pick this up pretty easily. We have to be careful. Ryzen doesn't come in here, but I think we're actually melting this so quickly it shouldn't even be an issue. Yeah, there it is. Portal demon taken down. And we're just going to take this mana buff as well. And we really capitalized on our lead this game. We're doing exceptionally well with this Nemesis. And I'm not a huge Nemesis player. I mean, she's not the most difficult goddess in the world, but she's... She's definitely a fun one. I must admit, she's definitely a fun one. But I'm going to go for... Actually, let's do this. I think I'm actually going to go Executioner right now. And I do want a Sentry, so selling the Blue Stone is actually worth it here. Because I want to... Actually, wow, I just... Use my Chalice instead of the... Putting the board down. And... You know, every time, every time, but mana buff is up, and I saw Fenrir. Actually, oh no. Team could be into trouble over here. I saw someone, who was that, with the speed buff? Was that the Morgan? Nah, the Morgan's not really much of a threat. <laughs> so maybe it's good that I'm over here. Okay, we got, we got the slow on him that time. And there's a Gold Fury, only Kumba left over here. Oh, if I only had, oh, actually, nice blink. Oh, still got the root on me. I death. And he has his ultimate still. Your right tower is under attack. I am pretty quick though. Especially with this sprint, I should be able to catch this guy. And there it is, we got the kill as well. I was getting worried for a second. I thought those might have taken that from us. That Kumba, that Kumba was able to hold us out for quite a while. Oh no. There it is. Be careful here. I don't have the beads. Oh my god, Fenrir just took so much damage right there. Attack. There we go. We'll be able to get this tower. Okay, damage buff is down. I think Baka actually had it. Okay, we can go for these oracles then. Oracles and then go back to base. There we go. Level 19 right now, we're almost level 20, which is great for a goddess who actually scales incredibly well into the later game stages. One of the better late game assassins with her ultimate and everything, and that's gonna be the Surrender. Yeah, Nemesis, probably a stronger solo laner than Fenrir right now, to be honest, as far as assassins go. I think she may be near the top since I've played her a few times because I saw people playing her in the past and I was like, ah, I'm not even really a huge fan of that. That doesn't seem like it's that all that effective. But then I played her a few times and I realized it's not actually that bad. Her clear is surprisingly... Okay, I'm not going to say surprisingly good. It's surprisingly better than you would expect uh, earlier on in the game after she, of course, got the change to her too. And they nerfed the ultimate a little bit, but... I mean, the ultimate still is a giant slow. Still get a lot of protections as well as... Well, still a lot of protections as well as get the... <laughs> The percentage damage dealt, and actually look at Chalk, 14, 1, and 16. What happened? Or 6, actually. I don't know what happened over there in the middle lane, but uh, that duo mid was definitely doing some crazy stuff. And actually, I yeah, still outdamaged him, but we did deal. We, we did get a lot less kills, so Chalk, props to him. Doing a good job on that Chalk in the jungle, but our Nemesis solo wasn't too bad. I think Wingblade was fantastic here, and I'm actually really happy I picked it up. And Execution was good as well. Works really well with Stone Getting Sword. Probably either would have went Crit or Chin Size. With Gladiator Shield, I probably was going to go Chin Size. Because I would have to sell Gladiator Shield to get 
Deathbringer later on, and uh, I think Chain Size would just be better for me. I could actually just go Wind Demon as a single crit item. That's actually not too bad on Nemesis specifically, but yeah, I think Chin Size would have been really good for me. And then Cell Gladiator Shield later for maybe a Mantle of Discord. Get a bit tankier, or even the Magic's Blessing that I was talking about, but then again, I never really got to, to the point that Magic's Blessing was really needed in that game, but Nemesis is a lot of fun. I've been enjoying her recently, and I hope to play some more of her. I really like her. She's actually a lot of fun in the solo lane, in the solo lane. In the jungle, she's really strong, but I don't, I'm not much of a jungler, so I mean, if we're gonna be playing Nemesis, it's, it's gonna be in the solo lane. But anyway, guys, this has been the Esmond Gam playing Nemesis in the solo lane. I hope you enjoyed, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.